I was first introduced to autism when I saw the movie Rain Man. How many of you remember that movie? All of you. Dustin Hoffman plays uh, the autistic brother of uh, Tom Cruise, uh, as someone who's hard to connect with, who cannot relate to others, and who needs order and structure. He played that role so well that he won an Oscar for it. I thought when I saw that movie, that must be the worst thing that can happen to you, to have an autistic child. Years later, I'm the mother of two boys, Finn on the left and Aiden on the right. Aiden is my youngest son, he's eight years old, and guess what? He's autistic. I can tell you from personal experience that it's not the worst thing that can happen to you. Although difficult at times, Aiden brings us a tremendous amount of joy, and he's also one of the reasons I'm here today. I would like to talk about an exciting project called Interacting. It is set up to teach children with autism social skills and understanding through improvisation. As mentioned before, I'm also one of the owners of Boom Chicago. We are most known for our improvisation, which is a style of theater that does not use a script and is based on suggestions from the audience. When we first found out that Aiden was autistic, we had a lot of help from Child Center. This is a non-profit foundation that provides treatment and support for families with autistic children. We were shocked when we found out the diagnosis. We were very worried about Aiden and about what he could achieve in the future. Pim Donkersloot, who is the founder of Child Center and a great friend, helped us through this tough time. I was delighted years later, just recently, that he approached me with this out-of-the-box idea. He asked, can we use improvisation to teach children social skills that they might otherwise not develop at all. That project became interacting. Do you find that we hear a lot more about autism these days? First, more and more children have it. One out of 88 children in the United States are affected by autism. Second, also, what happens today is that we diagnose children with autism who before would have been labeled as odd, non-communicative, and difficult. It is the fastest growing developmental disability in the United States, and we still do not know how to cure it, and we certainly do not know where it comes from. Certainly more and more people talk about autism. I've been part of many dinner parties where I have friends remi remembering this relative that might have been undiagnosed autistic. Some even admit a mild form of autism themselves. It's certainly more and more in the news, and you know that it becomes mainstream when people start joking about it. Comedy news network The Onion has uh, tackled autism uh, th this is a clip from the autistic reporter, and like many autistic people, he cares more about trains than people. Autistic reporter Michael Falk has the story. I have the story. At 4.05 p.m., a 100,000-pound Comet Liner 2 stainless steel car ran into a man at the Braxton station. Luckily, there was no structural damage caused to the car's chassis, so it was only a matter of cleaning the train to remove the human debris and return it to a pristine state. Oh, just a terrible accident, Michael. No, Brooke. This was a very lucky day for the train. If it had been hit by something bigger like a car or a boulder or a large animal, it could have been dented. This shows a bit of the uh, autistic characteristic of uh, having a hard time to empathize, uh, having a hard time reading nonverbal communication, and be having difficulty with being in an interaction. Improvisation is a form of theater that does not use a script. One of the basic principles of improvisation is yes and. It's about working together, it's about building on each other's ideas. Improvisation is about the instinctively and spontaneously looking for um, ideas and thoughts. It's about really listening to each other, and it's about finding creative thoughts as you go along. Just like improvisation, Conversations are scriptless. Interactions are scriptless. Life is scriptless. 
Children with autism find it, oddly enough, not so hard in, to be in an interaction if they can play a role. They don't have a hard time being on stage, like many of us do. They find that they want to uh, be on stage because they don't wonder what other, others might think of us. And this love of theater and love of stage is a great starting point. At Interacting, we want to use this. Because for these children, it's cool to be on stage. There are certainly a lot of programs around for children with autism. There are music programs, theater programs. These children don't have a hard time at all memorizing a script or a piece of music. They're actually quite excellent at it. Watch this clip of this girl who has memorized an entire classical ballet piece. This is exactly where interacting is different. Because letting go of a script is much scarier, but if we succeed in teaching them this, then they are much closer to real interaction. Uh, we started a pilot in uh, May with eight children who came to Boom Chicago every Saturday afternoon. And we taught them exercises from ensemble uh, theater and useful material from physical theater. The parents would watch on the balcony while the kids would uh, do the exercises. And the final day, it involved a small presentation in front of the parents. One of the parents came up to me afterwards and said, I can't believe you get my child to do this. And there were tears all around. We also started a pilot at one of the special schools here in Amsterdam from the Orion Collegia. We did six workshops for two different groups of, uh, of uh, children. And I knew that that was working well when one of the kids went up to our trainer and said, I want to do the exercise, but I can't. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> Interacting for me is where my two worlds come together. One as a mother of an autistic child, and the other as an owner of an improv theater. With Interacting, we can help my son Aiden and other autistic children to break from their comfort zone of ritual and routine. We can encourage them to thrive without fear in a scriptless world. Augusto Ball is a famous Brazilian author, playwright, and director. He's most known for theater of the oppressed. This is a dramatic form of education now used by social movements in 70 different countries. He once said, we should all do theater to find out who we are and who we can become. With interacting, we can teach children to find out who they are and who they can become. Thank you. <laughs>